Yeah, what's good, y'all boys, man? Look, we got another horror short film, bro. Not short film, but we got these horror stories, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna cap. Last video was tough. Yeah, they, they was tough, bro. And they was a little, hey, they was a little insane. Y'all gotta go watch those, because the girl in the bath, that bath water, yeah, low-key scarred me. But, hey, let's get straight to it. Let's react to this one. I don't know what this is about. We got, like, five of them we can react to, so, hey, man, let's have a great time, bro. Let's just chill and vibe, man. Let's just straight to it, bro. Why is it not starting? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me turn this up. Make sure it's always straight. Heavily raining. I was returning home on my scooter when I heard people behind me shouting, and it seemed like they were stalking me. I could distinctly hear a female, and she sounded close. I tried not to let it bother me at first, but it was impossible. I shot a quick glance behind me, what is chased. happening? There was a woman, and she was holding. Oh her no, it's time to get out there. A few meters behind. Me. Dip, come she on, bro. Don't do not stop. Gave me a jerk, and because of the rainfall, bro, my get back. Skidded, and I fell down on the wet asphalt. You feel that? I turned on my flashlight quickly, and my stalker was still pursuing me. She saw my face from the flashlight and seemed. Bro, you gotta go. And then you gotta put your dukes up to something, bro. I scrambled to take a photo, but my shaky hands filled with panic. Mixed with the darkness, only got me a blurry shot of a blue sweater and the knife she was holding. Okay. The next day, I told my cousin about what happened. A look of horror came across <laughs> his face. Why? He told me that a girl had recently asked him out, but he declined, and she didn't take it well. The woman couldn't see my face clearly originally, and maybe uh -huh. that's why she ran after seeing my face finally lit up from the flashlight. What my friend said next shocked me. What Apparently, happened? this was the fourth incident of her mistakenly chasing someone else. Bro, what? I'm glad I survived that night and got away with only a few scratches. However, I can't stop thinking about the fate. Now that's mad my scary, bro. Next. She tall. <laughs> now that that'd be that'd be scary, bro. For real, for real. I'll be. I am a Chinese international student living in Sydney, Australia. I am studying animation and property investment, and I work hard every day. Okay. I remember one summer evening in 2021 when I had finished my report and decided to go for a drive to relax. I drove outside the city and found myself on a road surrounded by a national park up north. Okay, it was quite dark, and without the car lights, the visibility nature, yeah. was poor, creating a somewhat eerie atmosphere. After a few minutes, I began to slow down as the road became more winding due to the mountainous terrain. It was during this time that I noticed a white figure in the middle of the road. Feeling startled, I stopped the car, and feeling a mix of fear and frustration, I exclaimed, Red. What the hell are you doing here, asshole? Dang! However, upon closer inspection, I realized it was a crying girl in yeah. need of help. If you see that, it's time to go, bro. Not knowing how to handle the situation, especially involving bro. a girl, I allowed her to enter the car and sit in the passenger seat. She yeah, appeared done. frightened and requested that I drive her somewhere. As I continued driving, okay, no, I didn't no, notice anyone guy. behind the car. I do the same, but I During never journey, know. I attempted to communicate with her and asked her where she wanted to go, but she seemed unable to understand or respond in English. Dang. She was a Caucasian girl, around 17 years old, dressed in a high school uniform. Despite my attempts to engage in conversation, oh, she, she remained visibly now. anxious for about 30 minutes. At some point, she expressed her desire to call her mother, and I handed her my smartphone. However, she spoke in a language unfamiliar to me. Which I assumed was her native tongue. Or For the remainder of the car ride, we did not exchange any more words. I contemplated contacting the police as the circumstances seemed suspicious. It was unusual for a young girl to be out alone at such a late hour. Yeah. Additionally, I noticed that she was not wearing shoes and did not have a no school shoes. Bag, leading me to believe she may have been kidnapped. kidnapped. Definitely. I decided to stop at a 24 hour gas station to buy some food for her. Before leaving the car, I quickly glanced inside to ensure she was all right. To my surprise, she, she was no longer there, leaving only some water or liquid on the left seat of my car. Despite the absence of any other vehicle at the gas station, it was baffling to wonder where she could have gone. I immediately contacted the police, and they thoroughly inspected my car. However, they were unable to provide any answers. Something strange caught my attention while checking my phone. I discovered a phone number. I called the number, hoping to reach oh, the police. She said, bro, to my dismay, yeah. A woman on the other end cried and accused me of being a liar, insisting that I shouldn't call back. A week later, I received a phone call from the police with a chilling revelation. 
they informed me that a Greek immigrant family had lost their daughter, who had been kidnapped and murdered by her boyfriend 30 Dang. years ago. Astonishingly, the police mentioned that she was only 17 years old at the time of her death. This left me wondering about the girl I had encountered that night, someone who seemed so real, but was apparently connected to a tragic incident well, that's from scary, the past. bro. I never saw her again. Dang. That's, hey, that was a W. I ain't gonna count. That was a W. I get out of uh, a 7. I get out of a 7 for sure. For sure. Why oh, my stuff moving so slow? We on to the next, though. We on to the next uh, film, though. What's this one? No, nah, not, not this one, not this one, not this one. Y'all, so which one next? Which one? I got this one. We're going to hit this one right here. An encounter. Amazon is overcharging girl. you. And she looked crazy on the title, so. It. Don't hey, spend bro. another dime on Amazon. My name is Kushi Singa, and I'm a 17-year-old living in Delhi, Kushi. India. So the story okay. goes like this. This incident happened to me a few months back. One day, I was returning from coaching classes, and as usual, people were crowded on the streets, and the hour of the day was also a busy one, probably okay. 6 in the evening. I was really tired that day, so I decided to book a cab home for myself instead of taking the bus. It was a distance of about 21 miles between my home and class, and it took about one and a half to two hours to reach home. While I was in the cab, suddenly I was shaken a bit and the car stopped just about a mile away from my home, but because it was so dark, mm -hmm. it seemed to be a pretty long journey. So I decided to walk home as well, it was too late home. to take another vehicle. After walking for a few minutes, I realized that a girl, probably the same age as me, was sitting behind the bushes just nearby where I was standing. Right, Out of curiosity, just, I asked the girl just, just if she keep needed any straight. kind of help, and then she gently lifted her head up and said in a low voice, What? Thank you for your concern. Actually, I have hurt my leg while I was walking by the side. Could you please? It's not about her that I don't know about, bro. She scared me. I said okay, but please tell me if you've told your family about this. To which she said, Literally. "Yes, I've contacted them, and they'll be getting here any moment. But the wound is really hurting, and I need to cover it as soon as possible." So I searched okay, my bag, bro. and as okay. soon as I was about to give her my handkerchief, an she old man came towards me, grabbed my arm, and immediately took me to the other side and said, "Hey, kid, I was watching you for a few minutes. Who are you talking to over there?" Then I replied, I was speaking to that girl over there to ask if she needed my help and was about to give her my hanky, but you grabbed my hand. And the next thing the man said to me left me in complete silence what happened? and with a deep horror inside of me. Listen, the girl which you were referring to was nowhere there. And I guess it was not a human, but the ghost of the girl who died 26 years ago in a road accident here. And it's good that you oh, have no. your belongings to her Get because if you had, it me. would be a really big problem for you, like you can't even imagine. Now don't stop anywhere until you reach home. I was left shaken and out of my senses. Now I dipped straight home, home as dipped, fast as bro. I could. When I reached home, my mother opened the door and said, Cushy, who's this girl with you? One of your friends? What? Without even listening to what she said next, I came in and closed the door and went straight to my room. That night I couldn't sleep, so I tried to calm myself down. I fell asleep and ultimately woke up the next morning. I no, then realized bro. I was lucky enough that I didn't give this girl my handkerchief because if I had done so, she probably would have chased me. And the girl that accompanied me the previous night was the same girl I had encountered. Bro, why she really look like that? Old man for saving my life. Nah, she looked crazy. I ain't gonna care. Dad looks a little insane. Also, we need one more, one more for sure. We gotta go off with a banger. True creepy girl. Why is all this is Taco Bell's bro? brand like, new cantina why chicken ladies be doing menu. Much, and as a chicken girly, the chicken is slow roasted, comes with fresh ingredients. The avocado verde salsa okay. is dangerously good. The menu comes with a crispy taco, a quesadilla, and my okay. favorite, the burrito. You have to go try it out. Nah, they need to sponsor me, y'all. So I can really, you feel me? Get them right. Is that Taco Bell? This is an eerie experience I had when I was in my early okay, 20s, about 10 years ago. At that time, I was looking for a place to live independently, and I found a very cheap place and signed the contract right away. However, oh, that's the worst on the thing. first day I entered the house, I saw a note on the front door that said, 
No one has stayed in this house for more than a month. Good luck. That's Cap. Just off the back, I know it's about a, a family living in the, uh, the attic. Somebody living in the, uh, what, the kitchen cabinets. Yeah, just, just don't take that, bro. I thought it was just a funny prank by someone. So I started living in the house. And a few days later, I saw something through my bedroom window to the neighboring house's window. It was the what silhouette the? of a person shaking back and forth. Oh yeah, when somebody definitely closer, got hung there. A woman was hanging from Rest several ropes attached to the ceiling. Oh snap. Suspended in the air, staring. Yeah, I would have moved away. I would have moved another state. I don't play those, bro. See, we don't do that around here. Staring at me in a relaxed posture. Although I felt a bit eerie, I just thought there's a strange person living next door. No, I ain't no strange. I looked away and didn't pay we much don't attention. Judge, but However, we can after a while, I looked at the window again out of curiosity, and she was still there, smiling slightly and staring at me intently. Oh, nah, bro. Get this demon away. I closed the curtains and felt strange afterwards. From then on, I didn't open the curtains for a few days because I felt like she would still be there, Good. suspended in the air and staring at me. One day, I heard a knock on the front door. I opened it without much thought. Right on cap, bro. I thought that knock was in my house. I got so scared. My heart dropped. Bro, that sounded so real. And she was standing there. We're gonna get back to this. I was surprised, and she asked me, Why don't you open the curtains? I was taken because... back, but pretended to be nonchalant, and replied, I just don't usually look outside my window. Then she started singing, You have to open the curtains so you can see me. Open the uh, curtains. No. I felt chills down my spine and quickly closed the door. I hesitated. Should I call the police? Yes. But I didn't want to complicate things. Oh, brother. I just left the curtains open because I feared that she would return to my house. Then she Bro. appeared again, hanging on the ropes with a and pleased you think expression. This is okay? She swayed back and forth while staring at me intensely. I stared at her for a while feeling dazed, and then I quickly closed the curtains and drank some cold water. Somehow, I started to feel strange then. She was definitely an odd person, but I felt a strange it's attraction really towards her, although I didn't know why. The next day, I opened the curtains again, but she was no longer there. Only the ropes were hanging there. I waited for her all day, but she didn't appear and she didn't show up for a few days. I eventually went to her house and knocked on her door. She opened the door and invited me in. No. Her house was filled with countless ropes hanging from the ceiling, ropes. which was a bit eerie, but I didn't think much of it. Bro, she's gonna hang she you. She was very skilled at maneuvering the ropes, gliding around the house. Nah, th this, this has to be racially motivated. I don't know how, but- She was flying. <laughs> then she said to me, you should try it too. It's really fun. This is the not ropes normal. were hanging very high, which made me a bit scared. But I decided to follow her and Climbing climbed onto the ropes. But at that moment, I lost my balance and fell backwards, screaming in pain. Come on, bro. Pain now you're as I get hit home. the ground. Something was off, though. She just looked down at me with a cheerful expression not helping me or oh, showing she, any she concern got, she got some food. it was as if she was simply watching me yes. it sent shivers down my spine and i quickly left her house returning home i closed the curtains and never opened them again a few days later she came to my house and knocked on the door don't answer i didn't open it but she continued to sing outside endlessly i thought she was a psychopath Bro, and decided yeah, she... to move after some chilled, time, I moved different. out and had normal days afterward. However, I heard on the news about a man who moved into that house. Shortly after he moved in, he fell from a rope at the house of the woman next door and died of a concussion. Dang! The police ruled it as an accidental death and the woman was cleared of all charges. But I couldn't help but wonder if he fell on his own. Or was it something that she had planned? Only she knows the truth. Nah, she's evil, bro. After that day, I never heard any news about that house or the woman again. Time has passed, 
but I still wonder, is she still riding ropes there, and is someone still hanging on the ropes she made? Most definitely. Hey, that's that's a 10. That's a 10 for a week. That's a 10 for today, tonight. Hey, that, that was fire. Introducing Vimeo Sunday. All right, bro. Let me take my outro. All right, but that, that was fire, though, for sure. What y'all what y'all rate that? I really get that a, a little 10, 9.8. I like the, the build-up. The build-up, and I knew when I saw her face, yeah, she's up to no good, my boy. So, yeah, we got to get out of those. But this one was decent, though. I'm not going to cap. So, y'all let me know some more stuff to react to. And I react to it. Like, y'all be recommending some good stuff. I'm not going to cap. So, yeah, man. But I'll see y'all boys later, man. Y'all stay smooth. Y'all y'all stay prayed up, man. Times is getting scary. Y'all getting your Bible. Y'all staying your word. Stay prayed up, like I said. Yeah, bro. I'm going to see y'all boys later, man. God, I love y'all. So, I love y'all too, man. But I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Y'all stay smooth. This one was a fire. Fire, fire day, man.